place the turntable on a secure, level surface. Check the manual to ensure the correct accessories have been supplied. Fitting the platter. The drive belt has been supplied in position on the underside of the turntable platter. Place your finger through one of the platter's balance holes and pull the drive belt away from the inner platter. Holding that position, place the platter on the turntable spindle and pull the drive belt around the motor pulley, making sure to check it is not twisted. Put the supplied felt mat onto the turntable platter. Fitting the cartridge. The included Autofond 2M red pickup cartridge is supplied pre-mounted to a head shell. Put the head shell into the connector at the end of the tone arm and turn the fixing nut counterclockwise to fasten it into place. Applying the correct tracking force. Slot the counterweight onto the end of the tone arm. Remove the Autofond 2M red stylus guard and release the tone arm lock. Make sure the anti-skating wheel is set to zero and gently remove the tone arm from its rest. Rotate the counterweight forwards or backwards until the tone arm begins to balance. Once the tone arm is completely balanced and floats parallel to the turntable platter, return it to the rest position and lock it in place. As the arm is floating, it means zero tracking force is being applied. So rotate the numerical dial at the front of the counterweight, so zero is in line with the marker at the back of the tone arm. To apply the desired tracking force, now turn the whole counterweight counterclockwise, so it moves further onto the tone arm. Keep turning until 1.8 shows in line with the marker at the back of the tone arm. 1.8 is the optimal tracking force for an Autofond 2M red cartridge. If you change the installed cartridge, check the optimal setting with the cartridge manufacturer. Setting the anti-skating wheel. To apply the correct amount of anti-skate, rotate the anti-skating wheel so that the setting directly matches the tracking force of the pickup cartridge. Connecting the turn three. Power supply. Fit the relevant adapter for your territory to the power supply. Then connect it to the power input on the back of the turntable and an AC power outlet. Stereo system. Connect the turntable to your stereo sound system using the included turntable ready RCA cable. If you are connecting to either an external phono stage or a phono input on your amplifier, make sure the preamp switch is set to off. If you are connecting to a line or aux input, make sure the preamp switch is set to on. Recording. Connect your turn three to a Windows or Apple computer using the included USB cable. After powering on, the Windows system will automatically install a set of drivers. Connection to a Mac computer does not require any drivers to be installed. In the settings for your computer, ensure the USB audio codec is set as your preferred recording device. Open Audacity or any other preferred recording program. Ensure the USB audio codec or Turn 3 is selected as the input source in the program's preferences section and set the audio resolution to 48 kHz, 16-bit. Find a track with maximum volume and increase or decrease the input level if necessary to find the best recording level. Lift the tone arm and return the needle to the beginning of the record. You're now ready to record.